2005 novel Prom was turned into a Disney film in 2011 and adapted for Broadway in 2016 where they added the to prom. The Broadway touring production is currently playing at Overture Center and our Michael Bruno goes backstage to check out the prom. The story is about a group of Broadway actors who decide to uh, put on a show and it gets terrible reviews. So they decide to, and they're called narcissistic. So they decide to help their plight and go and help someone else, a young girl in Indiana who wants to take her girlfriend to the prom. And the, the PTA goes crazy and won't allow it. So they uh, go to help her and end up helping themselves. My, my favorite thing that they used to say on Broadway all the time is shenanigans ensue. And I think that's the perfect way to sort of sum it up without spoiling it. <laughs> And your character is like is is an actress's dream because she is this diva <laughs> yeah. of Broadway, and I you know I, you're you like every scene you're in the focus is like boom right on you. So what's it like for you to you know to be a Broadway actress playing this big Broadway star? Is that is that kind of like art imitating life for you? Not in the least. There is nothing about Dee Dee that is like Courtney. Nothing. So I get to live out my wildest self-absorbed dreams. Um, yeah, she's a, she's a much different kind of person. I, I consider myself like a blue-collar Broadway actor. Um, I, I have to really, you know, struggle, work, you know, scratch and get to the next job. And she just is one after another big, splashy, amazing job. And, um, and also, the the energy of who she is as a person is just so different from me. She just exudes just confidence and power and success, right? So I like live through her vicariously every night. I'm a little bit shyer of a person in real life. Um, so yeah, I get to like live out my fantasy only because she's such a different person than I am. I play Principal Hawkins, so I'm a uh, fierce protector of Emma, and she's the girl who's getting her civil rights trampled upon. So I go and I help her and I try to hold her hand and help her through this process to say that she can take whomever she wants to the prom. And then you also meet up with the famous Broadway star and you have a little <laughs> moment together that you show, is that right? <laughs> Definitely, we have a little moment. It's the first time I've ever kissed someone on stage. <laughs> Quite a production. Michael's here now. It's the prom. The prom. <laughs> the prom. Not to be confused with prom. <laughs> That's right. Never confuse the two because they're two very different things. And there was a Netflix movie just last year, I think. Well, I think it, it's the Disney movie. So they actually made this, the movie, and then they made this, the, the musical stage version. So it's true. It's, it's the same plot. It's the yeah. same thing. It's about, about the, the gay girl who wants to go to prom with her girlfriend, and the PTA comes in and says no. So it's footloose for lesbians. There you go. <laughs> in a nutshell. There's, there's the asterisk. <laughs> well, I, I think people like this show because, you know, the representation of the LGBTQ plus community, a lot of people didn't get to go to their prom. So is this, is this a special thing for them? It's very true. And I think about the time that they wrote, this, uh, there was the, in the news, there really was a girl who wanted mm -hmm. to go to prom and they canceled a prom. I can't I don't remember what city it was yeah, in. I remember but that. it was in the news. It was in, it, in a heavy rotation about that time. So the two the two gentlemen that wrote this had written um, a Wedding Singer. Okay. So it's all that 80s kind of pop music and Paula Abdul dancing. Mm -hmm. So it, it really has a lot of that similarities mm -hmm. in there. But but it is it is very important for the LGBTQ yeah. plus community. The prom is at Overture Hall tonight through Sunday. Tickets at overture.org. And next week? Uh, the Reba McIntyre story, starring <laughs> Brady. <laughs> In there. Tell me more. All right. Thank you, Michael. Have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. Final check your forecast coming up.